What to do, y'all? Like I said, it's your boy back with another one. For as far as E3 is upon us, y'all know that they just gave us a couple trailers and a couple of gameplays on Gears 5 and other titles. So, I'm going to just hop straight in. Um, Gears of War 5 is looking pretty good. As you see, when the trailer first started, you seen Kate having her hallucinations. It's thinking about her friends and family, thinking about what her connection to the Locust and the... Um, the queen, the locust queen is, because if you all know, back at the end of Gears of War 4, her um her mom dies, Raina dies, and she actually finds a crest, which is the symbol of the locust, and we don't know what that means. We just know that Kate is somehow tied to the locust, which that was kind of a cliffhanger for the game, which actually makes the game pretty interesting. You know, the story mode of Gears has always been interesting, you know, E day, emergence day, a lot of people lost their lives, a lot of people lost their lives during the fight of Jacinto, you know, with the hammer uh, strikes, you know, leaving some of the people uh, stoned and ashed, you know. Now they had DLCs and all that on the, uh, the, to the ash people, I forget what they called it, but um, pretty much. Um, on some of the Gears maps, you could actually, I don't know if it was Gears 2 or 3, where you could actually play on the map where the, they played the music and the fallen people were stoned. And if you ever knocked the, um, if you ever ran past the uh, the dead bodies and you knocked the ash statue down, they get to playing that sad music that they played during the Gears 1 trailer a while back. So, but like I was saying, you know, Gears 5, you know. I I loved everything they showed about it. They actually have a new escape mode, a three player mode where you can run around with your friends, you know, going completing checkpoint to checkpoint, you know, trying to survive, running around with three. And I think that's gonna be a challenging mode, kinda different from Horde, you know, Gears has had his modes in the past, beast mode, horde mode, now this new mode escape, you know what I'm saying? Which I I, I always like playing their game modes. Gears of War was always a longevity game to me. I knew it was going to be around a long time because the game is just so realistic. Um, Going all the way back to Gears 1, let's this, uh, this backpedal a little bit. The graphics was pretty much on point. I know they kind of got the graphics a little different now, which is still good, but Gears of War 1 gave you that scary feel. You know, It's almost like you were playing a horror game almost. That's how the graphic engine made me feel, at least. Um, yeah, that's, like, it, it was a horror game to me. Like, it, it made you feel the action, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I was so scared when I first played the game. Like, I was actually, I died a lot because I was so scared. You know, or, or my, you know, anxiety level was high. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But I, I'm wondering what new modes they're going to have, you know? And don't forget to pre-order the game because it releases this September. I think it's September the 10th. Uh, you actually get the Terminator or a model character that's going to be in the game. So with that being said, I wonder what other special guest characters that they may have, you know. Because Gears 4 had a lot of um, guest characters. They had the two um, rapper dudes from the Crown Jewel or whatever that, whatever you called it. Um, and they had... Let's see, they had a lot of old characters from the old Gears games. The car mines, the skins for the car mines. I could actually live without the skins for Gears of War because they make too many of them. Like, a skin for each character plus skins that y'all already have. I kind of, I wasn't digging that that much. But I, whatever they decide to go with, I'm still going to be a fan of the game. But, you know. I, I think the game is going to be fantastic, though, just to, you know what I'm saying, clarify all that. That, that actually wasn't a disappoint, disappointment to me from E3, you know. I've been looking forward to it. They've already been showing us gameplay of their story mode on, like, Halo, but this is not about Halo. But um, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, your thoughts, concerns about what, what uh, Gears of War 5 is going to hold in the future. I'm looking forward to it, y'all. Peace.